Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be trying out some new makeup. If you saw my new makeup haul that went up a few videos ago, we're gonna be trying a bunch of the things from that video. So it was some stuff from Sephora, Ulta, and a few TJ Maxx things as well. I'm not gonna try every single thing, but a lot of these products are from that haul. So I hope you enjoy. If you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe and let's just get into it. Okay, the first thing I want to try was actually not part of that haul. I just bought this randomly. I had put my email in on Sephora to see when this was back in stock and I ordered it when I got the email. And it's this primer, yes, another primer. This is the Cali Ray So Blown Blurring Collagen Peptide <laughs> Primer. So I've been thinking about trying this for a while. Um, and I almost bought it, I wanna say during the last Sephora sale and then I didn't. And then I wanted to buy it and it was out of stock for a while. Anyway, so I finally got my hands on it and we're gonna try it today. I've just seen really great things about this. It says it's a plumping hydrator, a pore eraser, an oil controller, makeup replacer. Interesting. Okay, that's what the back says anyway. I'm not really sure how much to use. Looks like that kind of feels, ooh, it's kind of on the thick side. Doesn't really feel, well, I was gonna say it doesn't feel super silicone-y, but I guess it does have a little bit of a silicone feel to it. Okay, it has a very strong smell. It smells like citrus, which is not really my favorite. Okay, so it's been probably like two minutes now and it feels like it's kind of set down. It definitely feels like a smoothing primer for sure, but it also does feel hydrating, which I like. I can still kind of smell that citrusy smell though, which I don't love. It did not pill or anything, which is good. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see how foundation lays over the top, but it does feel nice. Let's move on to the under eyes. So I want to use the new Rare Beauty Positive Light Under Eye Brightener. I have the shade Light Medium. Now I typically like something that's a bit more of a corrector, not so much of an eye brightener. So I don't know how much this is going to do for my under eyes, but I wanted to try it anyway just out of curiosity. So this is the shade Light Medium. And I'm just gonna try this out on my bare under eyes just to see what it looks like. And then maybe we'll add a little bit of concealer over the top a little bit later. We'll do, start with this eye. Most people that I've seen using it have done it this way with like three little dots. And I'm actually gonna use the Sigma FO3 that I typically use for concealer and I just want to see what this does for my under eyes without anything else. Okay, so definitely, I can definitely see a difference between the two eyes. Let me see here. I mean, I can definitely see a difference. It didn't like totally cover anything, but I didn't expect it to, but it does look nice. It looks very smooth under my eyes. I will probably use this more over a traditional color corrector, maybe. I might use it on its own, just if I'm throwing something on my face really quick, I might use it that way, but probably not. Okay, I wanna try using a normal color corrector on this eye and then putting a little bit of this over the top. So I just applied my Bobbi Brown stick corrector under my eyes on this side and I'm just gonna blend that in and then we'll add the eye brightener over the top. So we added the bobby brown and now we'll do three dots on this side and see what we think. I do really like the consistency of this Rare Beauty. It blends out 
really easily. It's extremely thin and lightweight, which is nice if that's what you're looking for. So this eye has both, which to me you can definitely see the difference between the two. So this eye has the color corrector underneath, this eye just has the eye brightener. For me, I mean, I would probably very rarely use that Rare Beauty on its own, but I will say it looks nice under my eyes. It doesn't look creasy at all, which I kind of expected it to since it's a very, very thin consistency, but it's laying really nicely. It's just, it's not, I'm not really the target market for it, but it's not bad. For foundation, we're gonna use the Merit Minimalist Foundation Stick. I have the shade Crew. I have actually already used this one time. I used it on Instagram on my stories a few days ago, but I haven't used it yet in a YouTube video. So I wanted to try it again. This is a pretty good shade match for me. I have tried this in the past. I just didn't have a good shade for me. The shade I had was way too dark. So let's use this today. So I normally kind of swipe it on initially and then you can go back in and add a little bit more where you need more coverage because it's definitely on the lighter coverage side. And then I'm gonna start blending this in with the BK Beauty 101 foundation brush. I've actually never used this brush for a stick foundation before and I don't love it for that to be honest. I kind of prefer my 106. That one's a little too large for me. So let me grab um, the 106, yeah. I just like this better. It's easier to use and the size is just a little bit better. That 101 to me is kind of hard to get around like your mouth and your nose. The head of it's just a little bit large. As you can see, you don't get a ton of coverage by applying the Merit Stick that way. It's a very, very light coverage. So I'm gonna take um, my brush again. So this is the uh, 106, which is my favorite. Getting some directly on the brush like this. And just kind of press and stipple this on. And this will give you a little bit more coverage. Okay, so I've got pretty good medium coverage. You're definitely not gonna get more than medium coverage from this. It's very light um, on the coverage spectrum. But I am gonna take, since they do say this is a foundation and a concealer in one, I'm gonna take a little bit of it with a brush I'm gonna use the FO3 again. And I'm just gonna add a little bit under my eyes, just so everything looks kind of a little bit more cohesive, especially this side that only has the eye brightener. Cause I do need to run out after this video and I don't wanna look totally, <laughs> totally crazy. So I'm just adding just a little bit of this. Okay, so yeah, this is nice if you want something really light, quick to just throw on very, very quickly, you would probably like this. Okay, this is probably what I'm the most excited to try. We're going to try this little mini Westman Atelier Face Trace Contour Stick in the shade Biscuit. So I've wanted to try this brand for a very long time. Many of you told me that I needed to try it and I found a new little mini of the contour stick. I think the minis in this are actually new, I'm pretty sure. So I'm very excited to try it, but this is the shade Biscuit and I'll swatch it for you. You're probably pretty familiar with it. I feel like a lot of people talk about this, but that is shade Biscuit. So let's try it. This is not gonna be like a super makeup-y makeup look just with the products that we're using. So I don't really need a contour, but we're gonna use it anyway because I'm dying to try it. So I am not a huge fan of 
as you probably know, drawing onto my skin. I like to get it on the brush typically first. I just find that always works better for me. I want to use the BK Beauty 109. So this is actually a mini version of the first brush that I was using, which was the 101, but this is amazing for cream bronzer, cream contour, cream blush. Love this little brush. And you can buy this individually now. That's new. You used to have to buy the set, but now you can buy this brush by itself. So I'm just going to get some on the brush and just start lightly applying this. Oh yeah, love that color. It's definitely cool toned, but I wouldn't say it's like like gray sometimes. Contours, I find, depending on the shade, can be a little too gray. I know they're supposed to be cooler, ashier based, but that one is a nice color. I like it. Okay, let's do the other side. So this is blend, pretty much blending itself as I'm applying it, and I think that's definitely part of the product, but also partly this brush, because this brush does a really good job at applying cream bronzer, like I was saying earlier. Oh yes, I really like the color on this. I'm gonna take a little bit more. I mean, the blend on this is very good. Oh yes, you guys, this color, if you're around my skin tone, this color is beautiful and it, the blend is amazing, which these are not cheap, so it should be. I think the mini, when I ordered it, was $25. I don't know. I'll link it below, but very impressed with this so far. I'm going to take some on my nose and a little bit along my jawline. And I did get one more thing from... Westman Atelier. I don't think I shared this either, but I finally got one of the Baby Cheeks Blush Sticks in Petal. This one has been on my list for a long time. This one is the full size, so this is not a mini, but this one looks like very, very heavy. I figured since we used Biscuit just now, we'll go ahead and use this as well. I mean, look at that is just so pretty. I mean, it feels very nice. Let me swatch this. Oh yes, exactly the kind of color that I like. Rosy pink. So I'm going to take that same brush we used with the contour. Oh yeah. See, this is why I was afraid to try this brand because I had a feeling this might happen. Okay, yeah. That color could not be any more perfect for me. So I'm taking what's left on my brush, not over my nose, but ooh yeah, love, love that. Let me look up close. Oh, and it's magnetic too. Okay, yeah, that's beautiful. Both of those products, I love. That blush is actually a little bit more matte looking than I was thinking it was going to be. I'm wondering if it's from the primer because my face overall does look much more matte than it typically does and I'm sure it's from that primer. Um, but everything is laying really nicely over this so far. Okay, let's move on to highlighter. So I do have the Rare Beauty highlighter brush as well. Let me see. I have not used either of these things yet, so I'm very excited. This one is the shade Exhilarate, so I know you've seen these all over, but the packaging is super cute. This one, it looks like I'm a little nervous to use this with this makeup look, to be honest, because this is very natural kind of base, and this is a very intense highlight from what I've seen, um, so I'm kind of nervous. I mean, I'm literally going to I'm gonna try to use as little of this as possible, like one tap, one little tap of product, because I don't, I don't know. I'm a little nervous, okay. Okay, 
Okay, I feel like I can't see it, so let me get... Okay, there it is. Okay, so there definitely is a way to wear this on the natural side. It, like, I'm, I'm holding the brush out literally as far as I can, and I'm barely touching the top of this. Barely. Because I've seen a lot of people saying it's very intense, and it, I can definitely see how it would be if you, like, really dug your brush in there. But I do think there is a way to apply it a little bit more naturally. You just have to be, like, extremely light-handed. Okay, put some on my nose. I might even add a little bit of this on my eyes in a little bit, but I want to look up close in a mirror. I've definitely seen some people saying what they did not like about it was it's very glittery, but honestly, the way I used it, I don't feel like it looks that glittery. I feel like if m most likely the people that don't like it because they say there's too much glitter in it have used way too much of it. You just have to be a little bit more careful because I don't really see the glitter. It just looks like a really pretty natural glow to me, but you saw how little product I used. Okay, I think that is everything for the face. I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows, and I'll be back, and we'll try a few more things. So I did my brows. I put on a little bit of the Sigma eyeshadow base, and for the eyes today, since our face is very natural, not a whole, whole lot of coverage kind of base. I want to do something really simple in terms of eyeshadow. So in my haul, I had the new ColourPop Sage the Day palette, which is a green palette. I'm not going to use that today. I'm going to use that in a different video since the, that vibe doesn't really go with this makeup. And what I really want to use is this new, or it's not new, it's not a new product, but it's new to me, the All That Glitters MAC Shadow. I don't know why, I just really want to use this. So I am going to put this just all over my lid, and then I might add, I don't know, a little bit of bronzer in the crease or something. But, oh yeah, that's pretty... I bought this just because, well, I bought it because Jessica Braun was talking about it and I'm very easily influenced by her, but I know this is like a classic MAC eyeshadow. It's been around for a long time and I just thought it would be like a really nice one and done eyeshadow and it definitely is. That is so pretty. It's a little bit metallic, but not super metallic. It's not glittery. It's very pretty. Exactly the kind of shade that I love. So I'm just gonna tap this on and just kind of bring it out just a little. Love. That is super pretty. I will definitely use that a lot for sure. Um, and then I kind of, I don't really have a powder bronzer to use that's new. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the one I have sitting here, which is Laguna by NARS, um, just the powder Laguna. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that in the crease. I used to do this all the time with this NARS bronzer. I remember years ago when I first got this, way before I started a YouTube channel, I just thought this was the best thing ever and I use this all the time on my eyes as eyeshadow and I loved it. I am going to use my new eyeliner which is the Fenty Fly Liner, the Longwear Liquid Liner in the shade in Big Truffle. I talked about in my haul video, Kelly Gooch was talking about how she loved this eyeliner because of the color. It's kind of a reddish brown, which a lot of times it's hard to find a brown liner that actually looks brown and doesn't look black. And this one is very warm, reddish toned brown. So I feel like it should actually look brown on my skin or on my eyes. So let's go ahead and try it. I'm going to do my method that I've been doing, which is like a three-step method 
where I do my first line out here following my natural lash line or my lower lash line. Then I start kind of in the center of my eye as close as I can get to the lashes, kind of go all the way to where we started the first line. And then I start kind of halfway from the beginning of the second line and the end and keep my liner like horizontal like this. And I just draw straight across and make the shape with my eye open and then I fill it in. Okay, so this is definitely a very wet formula. It's, um, I'm not having the dryness issue with this at all that I was having with a lot of the other eyeliners. It's almost a little too wet, I feel like, on the end. It's kind of hard to get a super clean line with it, but I do like the color. It's definitely a really nice warm brown. Not super difficult to use, but not the easiest that I've used. I still think the easiest one to use so far has been the Physician's Formula liquid liner. So I got my wings done. That was pretty easy to use. Not the easiest, like I said, but it wasn't bad. I love the color of it, definitely a really pretty brown. And it did not get dry on the tip at all, which I like. It was just, it was almost a little too wet, so you do have to be kind of careful with it, but not bad, I liked it. Let's use a new mascara. I actually wasn't gonna use this, but then I was thinking it really just goes with this makeup look, so we have to use it. But I have the new Too Faced Better Than Sex in brown. So I haven't really seen anyone using this yet. Um, I got mine off Ulta. I ordered it. I used this mascara years and years ago, but it's been a long time and I obviously just used the original, not the brown. <clears throat> and I liked it. It wasn't like my absolute favorite of all time, but I did like it. So I want to try it in brown because I love a brown mascara. So I'm going to curl my lashes. So I curled my lashes and let's try this mascara. So it has obviously the traditional wand for this mascara. It's kind of an hourglass shape. And from what I remember, this was a very volumizing mascara. But like I said, it's been years since I've tried it. So let's try it out. Okay, it's definitely not a super thick formula, like it's not getting clumpy at all. It's very thin. I'm gonna go in and add some more. Okay, that's pretty nice. I'm gonna actually go in and get a little bit more on the brush. I know you're not really supposed to do that with mascara, but I just kinda wanna see if I get more product. What happens? Okay, so definitely added quite a bit of volume and it's still not getting clumpy, you guys, which is really nice because usually, or not usually, but a lot of the times with formulas like this and with brushes like this, if you keep going in and adding like more and more and more, it definitely starts to kind of clump up. But this one really isn't. I like that. I like that so far. Let's do... The other eye. Okay, so that is very nice. I really like that. Really, really like how it definitely, I feel like it added length and volume and it really did not cl get clumpy on me, which is a very good sign. I feel like that's a formula that might get even better as it dries out a little bit. Um, but so far, I really like that. I think that's nice. Okay, let's finish up with the lips. So I did get one of the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Liners in the shade Dusty Rose. 
So that is Dusty Rose, exactly what the name says, a deeper Dusty Rose. So I'm going to line my lips. It's a really pretty color. Love this. This liner is almost identical in color to my natural lip color, which is really nice. Okay, that's really, really creamy. Yeah, I like that a lot. Very nice. They come in a bunch of really pretty neutrals as well. Okay, let's do, I think I actually want to put the blush on my lips. So the petal, I'm just going to get a little bit on my finger. I have a feeling petal is going to be a new favorite for me. And then I do want to top it off with a little bit of the Tarte, not the Tarte, the Fenty Gloss Bomb in the shade Sweet Mouth. I've used these before, just not this color. It's just a really pretty shimmery light pink. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. This may be a new favorite lip combo. Oh, those three together. Oh my goodness. Love that. One more thing I wanted to do before we finish up the video is I'm going to take the Rare Beauty highlighter and oh yes. Okay. This is a really good inner corner highlight for your eyes. Just FYI, if you have this. Oh yeah. That is really pretty like this. I'm not going to add any more. I don't think on like my lid because I have that all the glitter shade but it's a very pretty inner corner highlight. All right you guys that is going to be it for this trying new makeup video. As always I want to kind of quickly go through the things that we tried today starting with the primer. Okay I like this. I just wish it didn't have such a strong scent. I mean when I say strong it is extremely citrusy and even after I applied it I felt like I could smell it a little bit so that I don't love but I do think all of my makeup looks really nice over the top of it I do actually agree that it is a bit of a blurring primer my skin is not totally smoothed over but it, it made a significant difference I do think and it's nice I have to use it with more makeup but I, I do wish it didn't have the fragrance the merit stick is not really new to me. I've tried it, just not in a shade that's good for me. But I think this is a really nice product. If you want something really quick and easy to just throw on your face as your foundation and your concealer, and you want a light to medium coverage, I think this is nice. It's just much more of a natural makeup kind of product, which is, you know, the whole Merit brand. So I do like this, I think it's nice. The Rare Beauty Eye Brightener, it's okay. Like I said earlier, I don't think I'm really the target audience for this. I feel like unless you happen to have perfectly even under eyes, this is probably not going to do a whole lot for you unless you do use it with a corrector underneath it or something underneath it. I feel like alone this is just not going to do a whole lot but if you are looking for something just to throw on quickly by itself just to have something under your eyes this is nice however i will say it reminds me of the milani supercharged under eye bright under eye brightening tint it reminds me of that the consistency is pretty similar this one might even be a little bit more thin than the milani but if you want something on the less expensive side, the Milani one is excellent. So I will make sure to link that one below as well. But yeah, this one, this is okay. I don't think it's like groundbreaking or anything, but it's fine. Let's see what else. Okay, the standout products as expected from this video are these, the Biscuit and the Petal Blush. Love these, you guys. Love, love, love them formula is beautiful colors are beautiful the biscuit color if you are looking for a contour but you do, you're afraid to go a little bit too gray cool toned 
maybe look into this one because it is cooler toned but it has a little bit of warmth to it it's not just super gray and ashy and it's very easy to apply i would really recommend it with the 109 from bk beauty if you're looking for a new brush to apply this kind of product with this one is really nice and you can use it for blush like i did with petal I had a feeling I was gonna love this. That's why I held off on trying this brand for a while, cause I had a feeling, and a lot of you told me that I was gonna love it. This color though, if you like nudes with a little bit of a rosy pink to them, petal, you will love. It looks really pretty on my lips too. So this is, or these two are absolute 10 out of 10s for me in terms of a first impression. The highlighter from Rare Beauty, I'm actually kind of surprised about this. I was thinking it was going to be really impossible to apply this in a more natural way, but I feel like I did okay. I don't know, when I watch this footage back, maybe I'll think differently, but I feel like the key is just, like with a lot of makeup, you have to use really, really a light hand with it. Otherwise, it is going to deposit a lot of glow, like just a lot, not super natural looking, but you just have to be kind of light handed. I like the formula, I think it's really nice. I don't find it to be super glittery, like I've seen a lot of the reviews saying. I mean, it just looks really nice and glowy to me. I don't know, I liked it though. Um, this little MAC shadow, I'm sure I'm like the last person on the planet to try this, but I love this. I feel like I'm gonna reach for this to just throw on my eye all the time. I just love the color and I feel like I'm going to use this a lot. So this I'm super happy with. The eyeliner I do like. I Like I said, it's not the easiest to use. Mainly it's it's got a lot of product on the tip, which is better than not having enough on the, on the felt tip, which, you know, they both kind of come with pros and cons. But I was able to use this pretty easily and I do like the color on it. I think it's nice. So I do like this. I'm excited to keep testing it out. And the mascara so far I think is really nice. I really like this. This I really want to see how it does after it's dried out a bit because the formula is definitely, you can tell it's a new mascara. Um, it's that kind of formula. I feel like it needs to dry out just a little bit but I love how I could build it up. It didn't get clumpy and it added a good bit of volume to my lashes. And okay, the lip combo. This lip combo, this Tarte Dusty Rose. I don't know, maybe it's just me or maybe this is just the type of color on my lips that I just love. But I think this looks so good together. This lip liner, Petal, and a little bit of Sweet Mouth from Fenty. Perfect perfect lip combo. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with anyone that you think might like my videos so we can hit 10k here hopefully pretty soon and make sure to subscribe if you have not already. Follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1 and I will see you next time for another video. Remember simply be you.